Welcome to video number 13 SQL reporting service. Today we'll look more uh, into the group by and we'll try to do a little advanced things. So let's get started. So I'm here in the Visual Studio and I'm gonna start with add a new item. I call this report as group by report 2 group by report 2. <coughs> I'll simply add alright. <coughs> Next thing what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get the data and the data comes from the data set alright and as you can see I got like data source generic which already points to my this one of the instance database so I don't need to make a uh, data source again and again so I'll right click I'll add data set I'll cause the call this data set as uh, data set group by 2 alright and I'll choose uh, there's nothing so I'm gonna choose new and we have already sh stored the connection the shared connection which I shown you on the right hand side I hope you can see it right so that's what we are using it next thing is a query designer so here comes our plan the plan is to <coughs> to do the grouping so what uh, first we'll add up we'll first add the tables uh, the tables we need is order order details uh, products and the customers so I guess that will do <coughs> next thing what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna write any complex SQL query alright so this is going to be very basic what I need is I'm gonna do the group by things so what I want to see on the screen is I want to see the order date next thing I want to see is an order ID next thing all I want to see is the name of a product the unit price of that product and the quantity where is it interesting I'm sorry not this one I want to get the unit price because in the orderly deals <coughs> how many quantities bought by a customer is stored and what's the unit, pri unit price applied to that is stored and the next thing I want to know who bought it alright after that if I try to execute a query you can see 2155 records and not only that we can see a lot of things get you please move up and as you can see there's a query which was built for us and you can see a lot of records based on that date but they are not very much <coughs> you know grouped in a good way so let's do that let's do ok we are not going to do any heavy lifting in here right so hit ok hit ok so our data is ready and it's show time so let's move to toolbox drag the table get the first header column and try to make that color as dark or life I'm sorry it's dark green make it all F I mean you can choose your watch whatever colors you like then take the two <coughs> tiny twos up the row groups and the column groups and open the report data we got the data set ready so first thing we're going to group by order date so we're gonna drag the order date in between row groups and details alright cool next thing I'm gonna <coughs> do the one more level of grouping which will be on the order ID so I'm gonna put it in between order date and details alright next thing I want to see <coughs> the name of a product then uh, name of the product I want to see the unit price of that product I want to see how many quantities were there and who bought it right so can I do it like this no I cannot so I'll right click insert column onto the right I'm gonna put the contact name so it looks good let's save and see where we are alright <coughs> so it looks great and it shows what was the order ID and how was it so as you can see the grouping is done based on dates not only on dates but based on order ID alright so Jack's New England shows 10250 and 251 so grouping is done I mean basically this is what we did last time the now the interesting part start as you want to sum the things up like I can I mean for this order 10248 I can have the sum for this block I mean what I mean is I'll show you <coughs> uh, but important thing to remember is if you want to apply this technique or summing and ordering uh, then that field needs to be an integer all right so I'm gonna choose this field I'm gonna hit escape and then you can see the gray box right click on that and there's an option called as add total select on it it looks nice and it works pretty great unit price same thing add total so it gives you a sum of unit price 
so it, it's fine now let's do the preview as soon as you do the preview I'm sorry so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make uh, these guys as uh, what color little pinkish color I don't know magenta yeah looks nice so as you can see behind every order there's a breakup <coughs> so like over here 10250 has a different set of breakup but now what if I want the whole sum of 10250 order and 10251 order is there anything I can do oh yes next thing you gotta do is you can select order ID head escape and then right click and do the same add total after choose the option as after so now this total is going to be uh, I'm gonna leave it as it is and I'm gonna apply the color as light orange alright looks nice save it and let's preview it so for now this order it looks it, it matches 58.6 thousand alright and as we move down so this is cool 1790 has two sets of orders and they have the different prices in the end they get some up to 1161000 right so this is cool we are not doing any coding we are not running any queries and this stuff gets happen automatically in the end I would like to know after end whatever the mega self I mean whatever you guys have done what is the output so same procedure right click on the order date add total and add after so now this guy I'm gonna give him a color as uh, I don't know uh, light blue <coughs> okay looks nice save it preview it now you won't be finding it in here it will be on the last page where you will see the grand total alright so I'm gonna drag a little up and I'm gonna restore my visual studio because it is not visible in here so smaller and hopefully you can see this is what you have right so the total what you're seeing is uh, there might be like two uh, categories yes three or more is there anyways and in the end you get this big grand total and the number of total quantities so I hope you got the idea what I mean by this I'm sorry what I mean by this and in the next video if uh, I'll try to do more group by cases if I find any interesting cases uh, and if you like this video then please subscribe and thank you for watching that's it